In this section, we're going to talk about the very important idea that the stoichiometric factors inside of a reaction provides us with mole ratios that allows us to convert between the moles and masses of reactants and products. I give you a reaction here, but you have to remember that the reaction is actually making a statement about the number of moles being used and produced during this reaction. This reaction says that two moles of H2 reacts with one mole of O2 to generate two moles of H2O. And we can use this concept to create what's called mole ratios that can be used during calculations. These mole ratios are going to be like a conversion factor and it's going to allow us to convert between information about reactants and products. There are quite a few different variations of these types of calculations but mainly they're going to be used to convert moles of reactants to moles of products. So let's look at an example. Here I ask how many moles of H2O can be obtained if I use up 10 moles of O2. And then I ask how many grams of H2O will be produced. I look at my reaction to observe the stoichiometric relationship between O2 and H2O. Remember this says for every one mole of O2 that I use up, I create two moles of H2O. And that allows us to create a conversion factor. There's a stoichiometric ratio or mole ratio of one to two. For every one mole of O2 I use up, I create two moles of H2O. So literally this two is this two. And then remember when we don't put a number in front of a molecule, that implies one. So there's an implied one there that goes here. So now I set up my calculation, which is very much like a conversion. So I want to convert moles of O2 to moles of H2O. And this mole ratio now is my conversion factor. Remember with conversion factors you want the unit that you want to remove on the bottom and you have the unit that you want to obtain on the top. So it's a 2 to 1. So when I multiply through moles of O2 cancels and then we are going to end up with mole of H2O. So the 2 remains. So 2 times 10 gives us 20 moles of H2O. So if I use up 10 moles of O2 I will make 20 moles of H2O. So now I need to find out the number of grams. Remember grams is equal to moles times molecular weight. We know that we have made 20 moles of H2O. The molecular weight of water is 18.02 grams per mole. We multiply through and we get an answer of 360.4 grams of H2O. So if I use up 10 moles of O2, I can make 360.4 grams of H2O. So here is another example where we look at the relationship between the two reactants. The question asks how many grams of H2 is required to react with 10 moles of O2. In the first example we had 10 moles of O2. Now we're asking how many moles of H2 would it take to react with those 10 moles of O2. Once again, I look at my reaction to see the stoichiometric relationship. This says that for every two moles of H2 I use up, I use up one mole of O2. So the stoichiometric ratio is two to one. Once again, we're doing a conversion, but in this case, I'm converting moles of O2 to moles of H2. I set up my mole ratio so that the moles of O2 cancels. We are going to be left with moles of H2. In this case, if I want to use up 10 moles of O2, I'm going to require 20 moles of H2 to do this. If I want to find the grams, once again, mole times molecular weight gives me grams. So I know I need 20 moles of H2. I multiply by the molecular weight of H2 and I get 40.32 grams of H2 required. So in order to react with my 10 moles of O2, I'm going to have to use 20 moles of H2. So this is the very beginning and in the next couple of sections we're going to take this basic idea and look at it more in depth.